Ew, is that a spider right there? You know what? Let's go ahead and do a science experiment with this spider. That looks like a daddy long leg too. Well, it looks like I found some diatomaceous earth in my garage. These might be expired, but I'm gonna still do the experiment. So we have some food grade and some non-food grade. I think I'm gonna go ahead and test out with the food grade. I'm gonna put some of the diatomaceous earth inside this container. Oh, that's a little bit too much. That's a good amount right there. And of course, how about we put some food in here too? So we're gonna make sure that it absorbs the atomization of so. All right guys, so I'm gonna attempt to trap it. Oh, that was easy. There you have it. Just trying to get out too. All right, I know you guys complained last time I did a flea experiment. You said there was not enough oxygen, so I'm gonna replace it with saran wrap. Hope it's not on the cover. There we go. Nice little saran wrap. Looks like kind of fell to the bottom. There we go. Found some rubber band. Okay. Find that. And don't worry, I'm going to poke some hole right here. Not big enough for it to get out, but enough oxygen. Okay. All right. And what time is it right now? 4.45. August 31st. We're going to check back every day to see how long it takes to kill the spider. Let's check on the spider. As you can see, the spider doesn't like diatomaceous earth. As it's trying to get out of here, but there's no way it's going to escape those little holes. It's the following day, 12.49 p.m. Oh, there's a spider on top. Is this still alive? It's still moving. It, it knows, see, it wants to stay on the top. Obviously, if the bottom was... Uh, if it was a good environment for him, or relaxing, it, it would have stayed on the bottom. So this goes to show that the spider does not like the diatomaceous earth. All right, so it's following day. It's way past 24 hours. It's actually about 31 hours now. And it looks like the spider. I think it's still alive, guys. Yeah, it's still moving. It's still alive. Following day, 10.07 p.m. Check in on the spider. Yep, still moving. It's still staying on top, you know. Um, I don't think it wants to go to the bottom because it knows that diatomaceous earth is going, is not good. It's now well past the third day mark. Let's check up on the spider. Hey, it's no longer clinging to the top, it's falling down. Wait, hold on a second, is it? Wait a minute. Is that still alive? We need a better look at this. All right, let's get a better look at it. I'm gonna pour it out. I hope it's not playing dead. Sometimes spiders are smart, they wanna play dead, especially to their captives, right? But this one looks like this. It's like pretty much gone right here. Yeah, it's not moving. See, the food is there. I left some of the shrimp shell. See, do you see the diatomaceous earth? Let's go ahead and get that out of there. So there's a spider, guys. It's definitely dead. Look at this. It's all curled up. Now, let's look at the constraints. We know that it didn't die because of lack of air because I poked a hole in there. And do you know that spiders can live for like a couple of days without air, right? So it's not that. And it's not because it died from starvation. They can last 30 to 60 days without food. 
Now, in terms of water, they can survive weeks, and they get their water from the um, the prey moisture content of the the body. All right. So as you can see, the diatomaceous earth is the cause of death for this spider upon autopsy, in my opinion. All right. So you see the constraints. Uh, it has to be an enclosed turf surface, diatomaceous earth spread out evenly. Uh, eventually, it will, the spider will succumb to it because it's trapped inside this uh, container. But regardless, this goes to show that diatomaceous earth, even the food grade quality, works 